Well, hi there. I'm Casey, and welcome to Phasmophobia. In this video, I'm going to showcase a glitch that you may have seen before that involves getting on top of kitchen counters and kitchen islands. I'm going to show you how to do it, where all it's applicable, and the fun, janky shenanigans that can be had with it. For the life of me, I could not get Tanglewood on professional. I located a Yurei in the bathroom. Now let me show you how this trick can be performed. It can be pulled off at any sort of kitchen island setup or kitchen counter setup. And do you like my photo? Uh, basically what you do is you open any cabinet. There's uh, some cabinets that are longer than others. They can be done, this trick can be done with either of them. Here's how I usually pull it off. So while crouching, left click to open the door, have it like kind of in this position, or you'll want to keep, keep going forward. Okay, so you'll get the door janking out when you know you're on the right track. You'll be walking towards, like at an angle towards where the hinges are. Walking, and there you go. You'll want to keep your forward momentum going, so you'll pop up right here. And here you are on the Tanglewood Kitchen Island at your regular height. You're able to see outside and it's pretty cool. So the ghost cannot get you if you stand on like this little divider bar. Uh, even a wraith. It says in the journal that wraiths have the ability to go through walls, but during a regular hunt, uh, even wraiths will get stuck on this. But be careful not to stand on the corners as the ghost will still grab you. Just stay centered and you'll be right out of the ghost's reach. You can also do it over here on this cabinet. I'm sure it, it, also, it would also probably work on either door, um, but I've had the most luck on cabinets that open this way. So when the door starts janking, kind of like starts sliding away from the hinge, you're on the right track, you're basically trying to detach the door, so it will then shoot you up. Come on. Ugh. It can be a little finicky sometimes. So if you're trying to do this with the door already fully open, it's not going to work. It's like, it's the movement as you're opening the door. You'll get kind of a feel for it. I have a feeling that bathroom ghost is about to come after me. There we go. So, you know, play around with it a bit. I won't be able to walk over here because this has collision, uh, and these cabinets have collision as well. But you can stand right here in the corner and get a nice up close and personal view of the corner. And here's the view. You can see the van just popped into existence there. That house over on, over that way. Big, I'm a big fan of looking outside the boundaries. The ghost also cannot get you over here. So it's a pretty cheap way to get ghost photos, though during a hunt getting a photo is harder because the ghost is usually flashing, whether they be in their full form or their shadow self. I'm just uh, standing on top of a plate and waiting for a ghost to try to come get me, but he's not going to be very successful. How long do my arms have to be to be able to grab the cabinets from way up here? I hear him walking. Oh, he's a big butcher type. So, yep, just, there we go, just out of his reach. If you have a camera full of five photos, you can just keep repeatedly pressing the right mouse button to hopefully get a photo of this high quality. So that's its application in Tanglewood. Let's head to the next house and I'll show you how it's done. All right, so here's where you can do the trick at Edgefield. Got a fun one up in the bathroom up there, but we have more important matters to attend to. So, 
This coffee maker seems to have collisions, so I wouldn't recommend trying it on this end. And this stuff has collision as well. So your best bet is to crouch down near the sink and these cabinets don't open. Crouch down near one of these and do the same thing. So let's get up here. We're janking, we're janking. Give me that lift, bro. Bro, do you even lift? Or you can also end up doing this, but click it and it'll go back to normal. There we go, all right. So back up here, gonna wait for a hunt to start and see if I die. So here's where you can pull the trick off in Ridgeview. Not on this countertop because there's too much crap. Have a good bit of luck with this one on the edge. Whoop! It's like you're... Yeah! Very easy. So I've, I have a lot of... There seems to be some difficulty in moving around on the... Uh, Ridgeview countertop here because it looks like this hanging light has some collision on it. And again, be careful of where you stand on these islands because the ghost can grab you. Stay in the middle as possible. Don't end up like me, dead on top of a bread box. Oh, and here's what you can see through the ceiling at Ridgeview. Be careful that a ghost does not grab you from the floor above. So I can see into the bathroom where I've got my equipment set up. So that's the bathroom. The spirit is haunting. So if I'm standing here and a hunt starts, he might be able to come into this bedroom and grab me through the floor. Since ghost, their line of sight depends on where your head is. So. This is an interesting view up here, don't you think? Stay crouching unless uh, your ghost is downstairs or until they come downstairs. All right, bitch, come and get me. Come on. Uh, what was this? William. Yo, come down here. Come down here, dude. You want to get me? Come on. You can make it down the stairs. Oh, here he is. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's uh he's a little stuck. He's uh he's trying his best. I think this glitch uh continues to add to the charm of the jank that is the phasmophobia experience. Can he do it? Can William get down to here? Come on, William. I know you can do it. He's trying his best. He's failing again. Whoa! <laughs> well, that's a big fail for William, but a big win for me. Let's head to the next house. So here we are at Bleasdale. The ghost is back there. Presumably a shade. So it looks like we got too much cabinetry in the way up here. You could probably get up with this cabinet, but not a lot of movement. So, let me show ya. Right here, I hear that EMF reader going off. It doesn't really- well, there we go. So here we are again. Oh! She is hunting. Here she comes. But in the prime bread box position, she is no match for us. This is what they usually do. They just stick, get stuck in their pathing, just determined, but they can't. It is a futile endeavor. It's pretty cool. So let's head to the next house. Uh, oh! Ooh. Oh no, it's one of you? I just unpaused the recording. You're a freak. Anyway, so here we are at Crafton. 
Let's do what we did in the other houses. Whoop! Very quick. Very easy up on the Grafton Island. It's a lot smaller, but uh, at least lengthwise, but should be safe in the middle. Not quite tall enough to see through the ceiling. So when our little friend comes in, we shall see if we are safe. Come on, I'm over here. Come into the kitchen. Oh, here she comes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Oh! Well, that's unfortunate. For the purposes of science, I was crouching. Do not crouch. We've got a demon back there in the laundry room, but that's no big deal. Yeah! Very quick. Very easy. You'll get the hang of it in no time. Now we just wait for a hunt. Make sure not to crouch. Hey, Daniel. Daniel, I'm in here. I'm in the kitchen. I am high as a kite. There he is. Here's our buddy. Hi. So he's, uh, just, uh... He's not getting stuck on the door, he's just uh, getting stuck on his pathing. Because he thinks I'm right here, but there is a no hope. No hope for him. I think that'll do it for the house tours of the Kitchen Islands. Hope this video informed you and entertained you, and I hope that you are now armed with the knowledge to impress your friends, your family, your co-workers, or just have some fun. So far this glitch has not been patched out, and I hope it isn't patched out. I'm recording this on the 22nd of November 2020. The last major update, the last patch that went out was on November the 4th, and this is the current server version that we're on. So this may or may not become outdated in the future, but I really hope they leave this in because it doesn't really break the game. It's just something fun to do. If you like this kind of thing or the sound of my voice, stick around on my channel for more content like this in the future. A lot of phasmophobia stuff. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Stay safe out there and peace out.